welcome to another Moscow video. Super excited for today because if you did not see, I recently posted a poll and wanted to know if I should review Hendrix next. $45 Lunar Edition, Special Edition. There's rose in it and lavender and all this cool stuff. Probably I think the most I've ever spent on alcohol or if I should review a $7 gin titled Miles London Drive, um, and it tied. So I am going to do an expensive taste test. I'm going to guess which one is which, call in my dear mother, see if I hopefully guessed it right. If I'm right, we're doing Hendrix. If I'm wrong, we're doing Miles. Miles, I have tried, obviously. I've never taken a shot of it. I had it in like a jungle juice during my 22nd birthday but i couldn't tell you what it actually tastes like i'm nervous i'm sweating it's humid i want to die we're gonna find out let's do the copper first oh fuck this is hard <laughs> okay ginger beer i have not tried this before stolly stolly i don't think i have Fuck, maybe I have. Wait, I totally have. I don't remember what I think of it. Hopefully it's good. I haven't had a unforgiving ginger beer like that. Unforgiving ginger beer. Uh. Alright, I have my guess. Let's find my mother, shall we? Mom! <laughs> you want to know my guess? Yes. I believe the $45 one with the Raiders. No way. No. Could you tell by the smell? No, the I could not tell by the smell at all. They smelled the same to me, but that one was just easier. When I opened that bottle, yeah, there was just this scent. Really? Yes. Wow. This one I couldn't smell a thing. Oh, weird. Okay. Good girl. Oh, thank God. I was scared. Okay, thank you. Brand new bottle. Bought it on my birthday. My gift to myself. 45 bucks. I don't drop that easily, okay? Limited release. Conceived under the influence of moonlight. See, I'm upset. Like, didn't want to be wrong because I just love this so much. And if I thought it was a $7 gin, I would have zero credibility. Not that I had any before, but this definitely wouldn't have helped. One shot, two shots. That was so good. All right, here we go. And we got our lime. Our lime. Distilled and bottled in Scotland. See how this bad boy is. Cheers, everyone. Happy summer. Merry summer. It's been a wild time. I graduated, whatever. Wow. This is the only word I can think of. So refreshing. Like actually, crisp, I don't have to like bend over backwards to make it good. You could have this easily just with lime and have a party. I instantly was like, I have not had a uh, Moscow taste like this before. So that's really exciting to me. It did not disappoint. I do love Hendrix, just the normal brand, which I've reviewed before of course really does feel like it has a kick that other gins do not have I can't believe i'm gonna say it but it really might be worth the 45 bucks however that being said that doesn't mean miles can't get the job done also i will say at my birthday we made two different jungle juice things one had vodka and ginger beer one had this and ginger beer because i'm cheap and i don't think i'm not gonna get my friends expensive alcohol and this one was drank significantly more than the vodka one so i think people like gin more than they think and they don't want to admit it or they just don't give it a chance so the moral of the story give gin a chance whether it's seven dollars or 45 i'll get into my ratings really quickly talking ginger beer six out of ten i would drink it but i would so desperately want to take it back hendrix lunar gin it's looking like a strong 8.79 i'm excited to play around with it get some drinks going and trying it with different stuff my new best friend this summer and overall experience i'm chilling right now eight and a half nine we're going places with this one cheers everyone